Swift has come across from the left-hand side of the pitch to the right to take this corner. Plenty in yellow and green up from the back. And it comes from Swift towards DK, oh! headed towards goal. And Daryl DK was there. <laughs> and it hits a Burnley defender and goes out for a corner. And hits him square. The Burnley <laughs> <family fans. laughs> hits him square on the legs, doesn't it? I didn't know whether it hit a hand there. And it comes from Swift again towards the oh, back. There post. it is. Okay, this time it's there it is. West Bromwich Albion. I think it's, I think it's Furlong at the near post that heads it in. There was a host of bodies in there. DK and Furlong, but it's Furlong with the final touch. What a start for the baggies at Turf Moor. And like I said, you know, <laughs> Burnley have had all the play chess. They've had all the possession. And I said it's the one who takes your chances. It's a great ball in from Swift. I mean, then. I'm just looking at the replay. Furlong, doesn't he? Well, he jumps a little bit, but he's, he's not had to leap too high. And he gets a simple header in the six-yard box. Keeper beaten. Nothing the keeper can do with that. It's all about the delivery of this. It's flat, it's quick, and it's a good header from Darnell Furlong. And wow. And the Baggers fans are away to the right. And that's all you can hear at the moment. I've got to be a bit quiet, Jess, because it's very close to the Burnley fans and I've already had a couple of looks. <laughs> the dream start for Carlos Corbrand's men. Terrific record that Burnley have here in the uh, Skybet Championship. And there's a lovely ball forward from Zorori into the penalty area towards Barnes. Oh, and it's an almost an own goal. The ball hits the post and Alex Palmer does just about enough to ricochet that ball onto his post and Albion clear it behind for a corner kick. It was a great ball forward. Ashley Barnes touch. made the run. It was Zorori with the pass. Barnes was on side, edge of the six-yard box first time. It hit Eric Peters. That would have been an unhappy return for him to Turf Moor. Then it comes from John Swift towards oh, Okay, you push Lewis oh. held and it's dropped and it's, it's dropped in. in. And oh, the, the referee is given a free kick. <laughs> He's given a free kick. And it did look like a free kick as well on first glance. Yeah, it did. Okay, you push jumping with Arijanet Muric. It was bundled home from virtually on the goal line. Yeah, he had it in uh, his grasp yeah. and then dropped it. Free kick to Burnley. Albion yeah. denied a second goal. It's a searching ball from left to right from Matson towards the opposite fullback. Connor Roberts. Here is Josh Cullen. Back to Roberts on the right hand side. Up against Townsend, plays it in field to Teller, who turns Ooh. and shoots, takes a deflection. It falls back to Zorori in a shoot. Oh! And a deflection and an equalising goal from Ashley Barnes, but the flag is up. Oh, it's gone offside. On the near side. Well, it was a great touch from Barnes, who uh, deflected it into the top corner. Certainly looked from first glance like it was offside, Andy. Comes inside. Ooh, tell oh, you what, I'll tell close. you what, he is. He's he... just offside, Andy, but that's close. He's a shoulder blade offside there, Barnes. But I tell you what, if that was given against us, you'd, you'd question it, wouldn't you? Over to the left-hand side, Zorori is the target. Zorori's got two to beat. Cross comes in, Brownhill. Barnes oh! is in there, it's off the crossbar. And up into the air, it's a header won by Brownhill, but he can't keep it down. And into the stand behind Alex Palmer's goal it goes. But Burnley have hit the bar, they've hit the post, have had one ruled out for offside. But we're riding our luck at the moment. Big kick forward. Just over 15 to go, plus whatever stoppage time we will have. There's Rogic beaten in the air, it's played forward by Zorori, and in behind is Teller, chances, it's Nathan Teller! It's 1-1, and that's been coming. The man on loan from Southampton has finally broken Albion's resistance. They've hit the bar, they've hit the post, they've had ones cleared off the line, they've had goals disallowed, but this one stands. And it's 1-1 and it's game on at Turf Moor. He's been impressive tonight. Inside, here is Cullen, onto his right foot, trying to get a shot away, plays it square. Twine, onto his left foot, he can't shoot. And now Cullen tries to shoot. Yeah. He's brought down, edge of the box. It's right on the edge of the box as well. It will be a free kick and not a penalty. It is right on the edge of the penalty area. <laughs> wow. That, is, that must be on the line. I'll tell you what, this referee's going to need an escort to get out of here. <laughs> wow. It's smack on the line. It's a free kick to Burnley. <laughs> any closer to the penalty area. You cannot get any more central. I mean, what do you do with this? You try and get it up and over, or do you just put your head down and drill it? Will it be Twine or will it be Matson? It will be Twine right-footed or Matson on got his left boot. Three minutes to go at Turf Moor. 1-1. One, one. Burnley looking for a late winner. Looks like it will be Twine. He's oh. bent it top corner. He's bent it.
it top corner impeccably and Burnley have a late lead on home soil and they might be on their way to recording a ninth straight victory here.